Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot and if you like it and it resonates with you please push like and subscribe and, if, and the little notification bell if it doesn't and move on and watch somebody else. So this is an intuitive reading for the week starting Monday the 7th till the 13th and as you can see today's reading is coming from a lovely park outdoors just to cheer everyone up, just get be, getting back into nature because a lot of people are uh, stressing out coming up to Christmas, a lot of conflict going on around us, so this is just a nice peaceful setting for everyone. So Monday the 7th, a 7 if you've got this in your birth date, and I do readings on your birth date by the way, a 7 is a person who loves learning, they're always learning, they love their own company and they're quite happily um, quite happy when they do things alone and need time out and peace too as well. Very, very intuitive number. This goes right through to the 13th, which 3 and 1 is a 4. You like to have everything organised and planned. You like to have lists and you work better if you're working for someone else where you don't have to think and you get told what to do. Right, let's get on with it. Let's ask for guiding, guiding reading for this coming week, please, Spirit. Right, there's the first one that's come out anyway. Oh dear. Right, can we please have a clarifier? We'll start with Monday. Can we please have a clarifier for the deceiver? Clarifier, please, Spirit. So the clarifier, wow, that's great. Okay, so first of all, we've got the deceiver card. The deceiver card is you're feeling tied down, you're feeling trapped. This can be in a toxic love relationship, a toxic job, a living situation. Take a look at yourself and work out what do you really want and it is up to you to use your own ability to pull yourself out of it. But covering it uh, as well is the lovely judgment card. So I feel that you will be able to do this. This is the card of uh, leaving things behind, moving forward, changing your life, you're earning your angel wings, letting things go and clearing out the clutter. So that's wonderful. So that's Monday. And of course, no time really in the spirit world. So whatever, uh, whenever you watch this is fine. So let's see, Tuesday. Some of you are owed a little bit of money. And there's, so, there's money coming to you. And this is a card of it could be back pay. Um, I feel like it, yeah, this, it's, it's something um, that is owed to you or um, something that's gifted to you. Something that you deserve. Let's see if we can have a clarifier for that, please. For the Six of Pentacles. It's coming from your past. Yes, and then this is enabling you now to weigh up. What will I spend my money on? Spend it on something that makes you happy. Don't spend it just on bills, okay? So you're weighing up your money. Right, can we have a card, please, for Wednesday? Not Wednesday, you're going to bring us. Okay, family. Right, so we're still... Um, coming up to Christmas so a lot of you will be thinking about family thinking about the past this is like a reminiscing card it's a card of joy and happiness looking back thinking of times when perhaps you were happier or you felt more secure okay and for some of you because it's right next to it is the dearest wish card so you're wanting your family together or you're wanting from people from the past to come back into your life and be with you at this time or you're organizing people to come back in and and enjoy the Christmas celebrations but this is like a dream coming true wishes fulfilled okay so that's lovely and for Thursday what have we got for Thursday please yes you've got so a lot of you have been over thinking and you've got a lot on your mind so I always say when you're feeling like this write things down write down the pros and cons of all your choices so they're not racing round and round in your mind you could be over thinking and not sleeping but this is a nine and to me nines are that overthinking is coming to an end and what you've been thinking about is that some of you have got um, a big decision to make it's a, like a major decision to do with your life I always feel jump in, just do it, go for it, take a risk, get out of your comfort zone. And it's very interesting because that's in between the Ten of Wands, uh, Swords too, which is where you've uh, locked yourself in with these uh, negative thoughts or it could be just lots and lots of things on your mind, but you have got the ability, there's your little soul or spirit here, you've got your ability to pull yourself out of that when you're ready. 
and I feel that you will be ready because this is a 10, it's the ending. So here we've got the 9 and 10, which for some people can actually represent depression. So, But you've got a choice to pull yourself out of that. So I'm hoping that you will be able to do that because this is major. These are the endings of the worrying and you've got that major choice and decision to make which is going to change things for you. So let's have a card please for Friday. What's coming up for Friday please people? Oh, there we go, yes, joy. Getting your money organised, standing there waiting for things to happen now. You've been really good with your money, you're organising it, you're planning it, you're happy with what you're doing with it. And this is setting up your security. So for some of you, you're doing something creative to bring in the money or you're juggling your money around and being creative. But it's a good, steady, secure money coming in. And a clarifier for that, please. So some of you, this is another ending, okay, so you've been working really hard, a lot of you, and you've been, I don't know what you've been working on, some sort of project, or um, it's a lot of burdens that some people have been carrying, but that's coming to an end. As you can see, the guy, he's worked really hard, now the growth is on top of those wands, you've seen the growth for all the work that you've been doing, now you're resting, you're thinking, oh thank God it's over, so whatever you've been working on is coming to an end. And there you were, here, yeah, so this is right next to the Eight of Pentacles, and that's where you, you just um, bum down, I mean head down, bum up, work, 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 work to get the money um, to set yourself up. So that's what some of you have been doing. Friday, let's have a card for the weekend, please. What have we got coming up in the weekend, please? And the uh, star, how lovely. Okay, so the weekend card is the star card. So put out to the universe your angels, guides, whoever you believe in, Buddha, um, Ganesh. Put it out there what you really want and let your intentions be known because these guides and, and um, deities and that you believe in will help you get what you want. You're covered by the star card. So by the weekend, things are starting to look up. So let's have a look. We have another covering card for that, please. Oh, okay. Well, some of you have been overwhelmed with emotions this week and overwhelmed with all your choices. You're not too sure which way to go. So this is, doesn't matter if you take path A or path B. You will be on the right path to learn your lessons. This is also a card of breaking through any illusions you have about things. It might be about family, um, the situation you're living in, all these choices. It's like you're spoilt for choice here. And some of you, if it's making you feel a bit sad because you're reminiscing about the past or thinking about the past and feeling a bit sad about some of your choices that you have to make. We better have another one, thank you. Another guiding card, please, for the weekend. Okay, so that's actually going to lead to... Actually, there's two lovely cards. Oh, great. Right. This is leading to meeting new people. Uh joy and happiness with people that you already know deja vu with some people you meet someone and you know you know them they can be from someone from your past or someone from a past life and you've got the opportunity here some of you this is a love connection with the lovers and others it's choose choices because twos are choices lovers are choices as well it's choosing what do you really want being in touch with above and below um, I'm getting this intuitively, it's about you feeling, uh, you taking control of your choices is what I'm getting, and then that's going to lead to uh, stability, security, and happiness in your life, and you've got the strength, you've got the strength to cope with these changes and these choices, okay, so when everything's changing around you too, just go <laughs> This card's here too, Wheel of Fortune. So go with those changes. That card uh, indicates changes happening in your life, changes happening around you. Often they're out of your control and there's nothing you can do. So now we've asked for some lovely guiding cards as well. So this gorgeous one, Diana. I hope you can see Diana, lovely Diana. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best outcome. 
Move towards with un- move forward, sorry, with unwavering faith, knowing that the universe is supporting you. Diana is helping you awaken your divine ability to manifest what you deserve. Any fear is only a reminder that whatever you are working on or thought is an important issue for your growth. Your focus is strong now and will be particularly powerful at the full moon. You may be aware of night owl tendencies. This is because your angels and guides are sending you important messages that you may be missing during the day due to a busy schedule. Set some time aside to do a deep meditation to receive guidance. Isn't that so true? That's really good. And Mother Mary popped out again. I think she came out last week too. Um, Very, very important message from Mother Mary. Dearest one, I ask you to surrender the fear and anxiety you hold for a loved one's being, well-being. Trust, all will turn out for the highest good of all concerned. So this is just for some of you, and I hope it helps. This current situation is simply part of your loved one's life experience and learning. So a blessing eventually stems from this current event. This is for others. Remember, at the heart of all creation, only love exists. Allow divine love to stir within your heart. Feel it move the earth and stars as the miracle of life forever unfolds. Have faith in the universal spirit of life and know that you and those dear to you are eternally protected. I shower your loved one with protective and healing light. So please do not worry. And this was a lovely message from our gorgeous Louise Hay. I choose to live with ease. So just remember that when you're confused, you've got uh, conflict going on around you, confusion about choices, conflict from other people. I choose to live with ease. Life does not have to be as difficult as you sometimes make it. Complete this sentence. One way I could let my life be easier is, and then you can answer that as well. One way my life could be easier is. Thank you. And lovely guiding messages now from divine uh, guidance from Frida inspired cards. Can we have a message please from Frida? What do people know for the next week, please? What do people know? What lovely message can we give people for this coming week? Or for any time, please. There we go. It's always one or two. <laughs> Scatter the seeds of your untamed tender dreams with your singing fingers. <laughs> so take that to uh, resonate with you in whatever way. Don't be afraid of the biggest unknown in your life, your potential. It's a gift you must unwrap each day okay people all the best for the coming week and the lovely weekend and hoping that things will be easier for anybody going through any sort of conflict or drama just remember to take some time out and sit quietly somewhere peaceful like this and breathe in slowly for four and out slowly for six and do it for ten minutes and this will bring you back down to earth and calm you down Love and light and blessings to you all. Bye.